Hi, hi all my friends. Okay, so this is where my journey picks up as I make my way more um, north and then and then west, sorry, as I make my way back into Oregon. Uh, but today's journey is also about piecing together, back together my RV dumpos. <laughs> I left it um, at the Three Island Crossing at the video before this one. I was scrambling, talking to a friend, and trying to multitask, and sometimes I don't do that when I know that I'm losing time of a day. I get really scatterbrained. So I ended up leaving my dump hose behind, and, and I went back and looked, and they, they don't have it anywhere. So anyway, so as I'm leaving and heading out towards Boise along my journey, I need to uh, piece together, hopefully find another dump hose and a container, and the container has to be a certain size and, and everything to fit inside there, so uh, my, my storage, so anyways, I hope to be able to get this all back together, because I have no way to dump now. Alright, so here we go on the next journey and adventure, as I had, um, yeah, more north, <laughs> crazy. First time, I don't even know where I'm, I'm gonna, how far I'm gonna make it. I don't even have a place scoped out. I was trying to look last night, but I was losing time. I was tired. My phone wouldn't go online and stay online. I peaked a little bit at Camp Pendium, but um, and then I would lose my connection. I'd have to go back on and trying to. Oh my gosh, it was just a mess. And so, um, yeah. So I don't, I, I want to get past Boise, but I have no idea really where I'm going to land yet. Hopefully I'll find a spot along the way where I'll have a stronger internet speed to be able to figure out where I could go. I know there's a place I want to go that's um, further west. Actually, I said I'm going north, but I'm actually going um, kind of northwest as you go up through Idaho. And um, so I'm hoping outside of uh, Burns, so west of Burns, I, I saw a place, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make it that far now because of this having to piece together now my, my um, RV hose set up. So we'll see. This is an adventure today. Not sure what's going to happen. So, okay, here we go. So, um, this is the RV park that I stayed at over there. And then we're going to be getting out of here. And um, I'm tired though. I was up late as I was trying to figure out where to go, but the internet kept crashing on me, like I mentioned. And then so. Uh, trying to get a video up and then uh, yeah and then I woke up at seven o'clock hungry I couldn't get back to sleep so I really have only had oh, hold on roll up my windows we might get sprayed on <laughs> they're watering so I haven't had a whole lot of sleep I don't know five hours <laughs> oh boy this is really one of my most challenging days on the road okay here we go I could get I think I might be able to get it a little bit out there so you can see a tiny bit of it but there's all the traffic why well, sure is the snake river is sure pretty up through here all right well that's the glimpse so this is what it looks like, um, more going down uh, 84, so we are going uh, northwest, and we're about 15 miles before Mountain Home. 
and I'm going to check out Mountain Home. I've never been in that city before, so that'll be a new one while I'm looking for our new host. <laughs> they didn't have what I was looking for so I'm going to go to the camping world I mean they had it but I didn't like the style and the way the brand that they carry so I'm going to go to camping world and hopefully get the one that I had before it's a little spendy but it's worth the money that we even the top end one there was $24 so I might as well just go to camping world and get what I had and know that I'll be happy with it because I really liked the one I had so Anyway, so here we go, and also I'm learning my that other um, mic thing is not working for as far as driving. So I'm hoping that this one will work. It's the ear things, but I don't like to put, the, you know, the ear ones in. So, but it does have a mic, and maybe that will help for now until I figure this out. So I'll just let it drip across my body. All right, so. We'll just see how things go, but one step at a time. Okay, here we go. Thinking, um, it is Sunday, so there. I wonder if their store is even open. It's the store part. It probably depends on the town. Boise is a good-sized town, so hopefully it means it'll be open. But I just thought it's Sunday. Oh my gosh. I may be, if they're closed, I may eventually be forced to buy a Camping World one. I mean, that Walmart one. Oh my gosh. I hope not. truck in front of me. He's all over the road. I'm trying to get this. It's windy. I mean, I'm having to really keep my hands on the wheel because these gusts just come through. And, but that kind of shows you what can happen out here. Or even someone pulling a trailer. See who keeps crossing the road. <laughs> what if this what if they, there was cars on the other side? Oh no, he's gonna pass somebody <laughs> and he's all over the road. Oh my gosh, I hope he stays as far left as he can. But it just seems like he is all over the place and he's gonna try to pass this trucker. <laughs> well, I don't know, that's why they make them stay in the right lane, go slower. Um, I'm sure it's not easy doing what they're, yeah, look at him just swerving all over while he's still trying to pass this guy. It's, oh my gosh, do you see this? Oh my gosh, absolutely crazy the way. I would have just stayed bunker down, stay in the right lane, and just go easy. I don't know. But when you fight this wind, and I don't know, you're pulling weight, or I fight it just with my rig, and um, I don't know. I just stay 60 and don't try to push it. Okay, well, <laughs> 
crazy. Pub replacement. <laughs> they had it at Fred Meyer's. I'm in Idaho. So thank goodness there is a Fred, Fred Meyer's in Idaho. So I guess if I was going to lose it, the timing was perfect because this is the only size that fits how I had my whole setup. And uh, so they have it. I went to the camping world, but um, yeah, I'll tell you about that when I turn the camera around. But anyway, so for now, I've got this going, my replacement and the inner thing, so it's easier to wash that and just pull it out, um, the inner one uh, tub that I had in there. So that's cool. One thing down. <laughs> Yay! Right, so what has happened is the, the camping world was closed because it's Sunday, so I um, figured that. But they did um, let me stay here at the Walmart that is close to the Camping World. So just the Camping World's down the street. So that was nice that they let me do that. I told them what happened and they said, yeah, they, they let people stay here, um, you know, uh, at times. So I, I, I didn't see an overwhelming amount. So I don't know if it's only certain situations, but they did let me stay when I explained what happened. So um, I'm on my way now to go to the camping world and hope pray they have my hose. So um, I'm, I'm hopeful. So here we go. Oh, and the night sleep wasn't bad at all. I mean, I was up kind of late releasing a video, and uh, so I did go to sleep pretty late, and then I think that's why I get scatterbrained sometimes more so, because fighting my body, not sleeping well, I mean, it's been hot, so you definitely don't sleep as well, and then, or if I have the AC going, um, yeah, just, I don't know, I, I just don't do good when I'm trying to focus on too much stuff at one time so I have to <laughs> stay mindful you know and keep my mind on one task and that was hard to do when I was on the phone and, and trying to multitask my brain doesn't do that when I'm pretty tired and this heat is draining I mean I see Milo fighting it and I have to keep the cool wrap on it and I'm fighting it so you know um, but I lived in an apartment once in Oregon and when my, me and my ex-husband and first moved there we went to Milwaukee we lived in an up, upper you know unit and uh, the top floor and it was so hot we had no AC we were constantly going to the mall to after we got off of work or weekends just to cool off to have a place to be cool um, actually I think we finally did get an AC that we could you know one of those window ones we could put inside of our um, you know bedroom so at least the bedroom we could be cool but the rest of the house forget it so a lot of times we stayed a lot of time in the bedroom um, doing everything we needed to do um, because you know it, it was hot sometimes so anyways it's not like if I was in a stick and brick house um, I know friends back in Portland that don't have AC you know and so you can fight it no matter where you're at <laughs> Anyway, so, um, okay, so here we go, and I hope they have my hose. Yeah, okay, there's my replacement hose, just like what everybody wanted to see is an RV hose. <laughs> But this is the Viper, um, but it is one of my favorite, and this actually came with this. Where last time I had to buy them separate, and then, um, but this time they had the 15 foot with this little elbow piece, which is what I really, really loved. And expensive little thing though, it's uh, 70 bucks. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Um, but it's got the more flexible hose, so it can store in a tub much easier. The other one we were looking at was too stiff, and I said, no, there's no way uh, it's going to fit my container. So she let me bring the container in. Pretty sure, and I watched the video that I had a long time ago about, like, this girly girl can RV dump fast. <laughs> so I re-watched my video, and I saw the kind of hose, and I showed it to her, and so we were able to figure out what I had, and I definitely had the the Viper. <laughs> so hey, it's more stylish. It's got the red where the last time it was just the gray with the red up here. So it's kind of cool.
All right. So got it all back together. It has to be this perfect fit um, and container or it won't fit inside my storage. So I am really excited. Got it all back replaced. And this time I'm going to stay a lot more mindful about putting it away after my dump. <laughs> Crazy mistake, but oh well. It was worth uh, staying the night in Boise to get it. How they move them around to get them into their workstation. <laughs> All right, I'm getting propane now. All right, well, that was my journey um, up to this point. Uh, so now it's 97 degrees, it's getting hot, and I'm ready to hit the road. And I should be crossing the Oregon border today. Wahoo! At least that's the plan so here we go but you'll have to stay tuned for the next video as I make my way into uh, Oregon so I love you all and I'll see you in the next video and this is reality and life on the road but at least it all worked out in the end and I got the same replacement that I had before and everything fits great <laughs> same thing I'm so happy about that. Okay, so all better. <laughs> Love you all. See you in the next video.